audio is any better now. Um, actually, I can go give that a check here. I just got to bring up uh, Edge and listen in to the stream. I'm always a little wary of having this up because Edge sucks up a lot of the uh, GPU. Takes a while to load too. That's what I'm looking at here. Okay. Unmute this in a second. We'll listen to this, see what's going on. He's back. All right, let's see what we sound like. Okay, there we go. All right, so sound looks good and sounds good now. Let's see if we are able to hold that all together. Um, I got the overlays up. Let's go ahead and start this. I commented out the code that I was working on because I wanted to be able to compile and kind of restore, get back to that, uh, the original state there. So I'm gonna start that. Get that running. Yeah, that sound problem is super um, hard to understand what's going on. Um, I, it does not seem to be, it does not seem to correlate to CPU usage um, or GPU usage as well. It starts, seems to start out of nowhere and seems to go away with a complete restart of the system. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, by the way, just before I restarted, I was running this exact same code and it wasn't loading, wasn't able to find any of the JavaScript files. And I was just like, okay, I'm restarting the whole thing because I think I was dealing with multiple conflicting problems there. Um, <laughs> okay, that's up and running. Let's refresh the uh, drone game. Yeah, that could be it. Absolutely. He's answered all of our problems. Yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. Okay. Drone game is uh, loading up here. Waiting for the scroll bars around the edges to go away. Right here and right here, right there behind me. There it is, it's gone, it's loaded. Uh, let's see if I can get some music going. Hitting the button, but I'm not seeing any evidence that it's being sent out. My stream deck does not appear to be sending the signal out to Twitch now. Great. Well, let's type it in by hand. Why is my stream deck not working? Okay. That worked. Interesting, my stream deck doesn't seem to be working now. Okay. So we've got music. We've got code. Let's come in here. Let's go to our music player actually down below. This one. Select that whole thing, comment it out. You just hit left arrow to go to the top of that. Then come in here, selection increase, comment that out, or uncomment that actually. I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, okay. Now what I want to do is go through this essentially line by line in the simple player that we've created and using something that, uh, that is tantamount to good judgment, something that approximates good judgment, I'm going to go through here and, and, and do my best to kind of get a rough shape of what I want this class to look like. Yeah, sounding better than ever. Good. Okay, so we got to the constructor. I'm good with the constructor. Uh, initialize, no, this is not going to work. Um, also, my add songs, that's not going to be static anymore. 
and this is going to be a this. Got sound folders. So this is going to be add folder. Like that. This is going to be folder name. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second, actually. Yeah, hold on. I want to, um, I want to copy this clipboard. Undo, undo, undo. Add songs is showing up in a number of places. I want to rename uh, this. Whoa, look at that. All right, I'm going to escape on this right here. Uh, let's. I want the uh, parser to catch up with me. This is a, looks like a Visual Studio bug. I have a feeling they know about it. I want to rename this first. So I get all of those instance pieces. Um, uh, and then this is just going to become this, like that. And then that's going to become that. And this is going to become this right here. So it's not static anymore. I'm going to now take this one, even though it was in the middle of this whole thing, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, take this and bring it up to the top. So we kind of are working our way down. This needs to be called externally now. So I'm going to say uh, to do. This uh, needs to be called externally. Well, maybe let's do this now. Let's cut that. Well, actually, before we cut that, let's tab to next reference on it. Um, I think I want to create a new function here called um, initialize uh, crossfade players like this. And um, We're going to kind of work through this, what that is going to look like here. We want to create a new crossfade player like that. And uh, we're going to call this our uh, theme music player. Come on, give me that colon. There it is. Let's do this. Like that. I want to make this kind of a global, I think, is what I want to do. Then I want to take my theme music player. And I want to call um, add folder on, on it for all of these. OK? And then I want to do something else too. I want to say, hey, uh, like I want to say main folder is equal to uh, music. Because I want to build the path out is what I want to do. So it's kind of a way of this is the main directory and these are the sub directories inside and inside those will be a bunch of songs. So that's kind of what I want to do on this. Um, so the crossfade player All right, let's go find the add folder because it's occurring to me it does not belong here. Get rid of initialize, that's gone. All right, sound folders isn't in simple music player, it's outside of that. Um, that needs to go to Crossfeed player. All right. This is going to be file count. Like that. 
Okay, so we got that part done. Main folder, we need to declare that. So now we've declared, we've got our uh, main folder in here in the crossplay fade player. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see what else we got here. Um, all right, let's grab stop the music and move it down over here. All right, stop the music. It's gonna be a new instance piece. We're gonna say change this to this. That's stopping. This dot music player. That's all good. Crossfeed time. Crossfeed time is in the wrong place. Let's get rid of that. Bring it back out over here. Put it up here. There's our crossfade time. Five seconds. I actually think I want to drop it down to four. I was feeling like it was taking too long to, to crossfade between songs. So crossfade time is now going to be a uh, crossfade player. Uh, I could probably do this. Look for that and replace it with crossfade player dot crossfade time. And replace all. Okay, good. This becomes a this. And that becomes, this becomes a this as well. Okay, stop the music is done. That looks good to me. What else do I got? I think I want to do this. I want to, who's calling get file name? Anybody? Play random song. All right, I think we need to pass in to play random song. Uh, hold on, nobody's calling play random song. There it is right there. Hold on, let's take this. I'm gonna move this, these pieces over a bit at a time as I recognize them, see what I wanna do with it. Change active theme, uh, that was static. I wanna take that and move it over. So all the static ones, I'm gonna move over down. I'm gonna do the static ones first, I think, and I think that's gonna be a little easier to, to wrap my head around what I need to do. So I'll take the static pieces down, come down and make them instance. Uh, this. This. This, 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 this. Is that going to solve it? All right, good. Um, there's change active theme. Okay, cool. Let's get something else static up here. Let's press volume. Dropped a marker up there right from where I cut this so I can jump back up and continue looking pretty quickly. Uh, okay, so here we go. Express volume. Code's getting a little easier to read too. Way easier to, to read this than the class name, I think, all the way across the board. Now... Pressing volume ends. Wait, so what's going on with this? Is, did I move those over into the other piece?
Where my declarations for these go? They just disappear? These, I think, have got to be instance pieces as well. Suppressing volume, suppressing volume ends. Okay, good. Suppress volume level. Set volume for instance. We're going to find that. Let's go find suppress volume level. Okay. Rather than having two players, this scenario is more like one player being fed by an audio mixer with cross video painting between two inputs. I wonder if we could implement something like that. I don't know if we can or not. And I'm, I'm you know, that might be something to look into. Uh, but I am uh, I am not an expert in the what is it the HTML audio piece right here HTML audio element so I'm not sure about that let's look at let's go see and explore this for a second I think even if I find something that says yes you can do this mark I think I may not do it uh, anyway because I've already got something that I know essentially works crossfade. For another day, you can do it if you believe, says Pudding. Fine. Crossfade to one. Update gain. This is just changing the single gain on one of these, though. That's not quite what I want. That should be a song. You can do it if you believe. Should be a song. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say we're, I'm not going to, that's the end of my research there. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go back to where we were. Um, what do we got? Uh, suppressed volume level. Wait. It's my uh, moves I learned at the Mark Miller School of Dancing. Um, okay, suppress volume level. This looks like it's not inside crossfade player, but it should be inside. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Yes, it should be here. Where am I, where am I seeing this? Oh, I see. It's uh, got a this on it. We need it to be a uh, crossfade player. Next, I want to go find, let's go find set volume for instance. Here it is right here.
Um, yeah, so this is just protecting me against maybe it's not, it, it's null right there. So I could actually keep this static though. And this is just saving me having to write kind of code like this, kind of like that. Um, I don't remember, do you guys know, is there something like this? So I can just turn that into this inside of JavaScript? It looks like no, there's not, okay. Um, if you know something similar to that in JavaScript, let me know. Um, yeah, Roger CRG says cured. Pudding says, my most sincere apologies. So groovy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we've got that. Let's go back up. Continue the work here. Um, looking for static, static stuff here. Probably going to see a whole bunch of underlines in it. There we go. Update music players. Let's bring that one out of here. Yeah, this is a way better refactor. We get this thing to work. It'll be a good day because, all right, here we go. All right, so this player, simple music player, this, this is me this right here. That just keeps us from having to, it just makes it just a little shortcut here in terms of doing this. Uh, this is gonna be, now wait, why isn't, we, why aren't we finding it? Oh, because we're not finding it because it's static right here. Okay, so we're going to take that away. All right. This comes with this. There's a this right there. Same thing here. 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 Okay, that all looks good. There. There. If we're careful, this should just beautifully work, right? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm liking the code way better now. It's, you know, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? We got it to work yesterday, but the whole time I was, you know, it was like a mm, little something wrong here. I, I knew I could get it to work, but it was a little something wrong. <laughs> I like this code much better. <clears throat> I was, I was essentially letting the static elements of the class essentially perform as if they were, uh, as if what I would normally have a second class do. And that was, I think, the thing that wasn't smelling so good about it to me. Okay, that looks good. Let's keep going up here. Anything else static up here? Right here. Got a couple. Got a couple. Let's just copy all of these here. We've got also, we've got uh, stop music up here. I just want to take all of these and then these two. So it looks like it's just got two groups of these. One here, let's drop a marker right here. Get down to the other class. I think we're in it, crossfade player. Paste those in, alt shift home to get back to where we were. Uh, let's go grab down to there, cut it. Escape, paste. Now we've got my, our static pieces. Let's go down through here. Um, report volume. Theme music volume is symbol music player dot volume. I think that one's okay. That can stay static. Uh, act on new volume. I think it looks like this. And these, these two are going to be this right here. Oh, and we got to take word, away the word static. <clears throat> Set volume for instance. I thought we uh, fixed that. We did not. That's crossfade player. Okay. This should be crossfade player right there, I think. 
Okay, trim volume, what's going on with trim volume? Retro, music, Retro CRT says types in music. Should already be playing. Drone, there's the drone. You guys are in control. Um, you guys hear the music, right? You totally should. Looks like you are. Frank, I think you can just do type in U1. Try U1 right there and see if that works for you. And actually, just a U, I do. I thought it was to announce, oh, the genre. No, I don't think it does say what the genre is. Also, Frank, if you just want to go for one second, you can just type in a U. You don't even need to do the one at the end of it. So it's just a U and, a, and that sort of thing. Uh, U, L, left, R for right, that sort of thing. Um, I was talking to uh, certainly about changing things around to make it so that we're, you control drones through the Discord channel instead. So we might uh, make that change. Okay. Trim volume, where is that? There it is. Yeah, we're going to have individual volume controls here. So trim volume is going to not be static anymore. This. Okay. Set volume two. What's going on with set volume two? It's right there. This, and I'm pretty sure we need this. Act on new volume right there. Both of these should go away. Why are we seeing those? Hit enter maybe? I'm trying to figure out that. No, okay, maybe that's my problem. Oh, it's static here, that's why. That's my problem, okay, good. No worries, Retro CRT. We, you know, it's not that you're new, it's that discoverability, we failed you in discoverability. Um, it's not your fault, it's ours. Uh, oh, that you had the chance to check your new toy, the tiny server. Who you, you're not talking to me. Oh, wait, are you talking to me, Frank? If you're talking to me asking about the second, um, the second computer that I got, the answer is yes, uh, to, for dual streaming. Yes, absolutely. The um, and it works well. All I had to put on it was the Skype call, and all of the performance problems went away. It was that's what I needed. I just needed to offload a bit, and once I did that, um, we've done a number of shows, and there we're not seeing evidence of the performance problems. Yeah, you're talking to me, okay, Frank? Yeah, so it's it's it, it totally solved the problem. In fact, if anything, it might have been overkill for the solution. But originally, you know, I got it because I was going to put OBS on it as well. Have OBS do some of the work, the heavy lifting of, uh, on the one machine and then send over the second. And I was having problems with OBS coming to a, the NDI streams coming to a crawl when I was connecting them. And then I was setting up for another show, trying again and doing it incorrectly, bypassing OBS on the first, whatever, on the one, on the other secondary machine and just sending the NDI from Skype straight over. And then I and then didn't have time to, once I realized my mistake, didn't have time to correct it. We did the show with it anyway, and it, and and we, and we didn't see any uh, slowdowns. And I was like, oh my gosh. And we did it, and we've done like three shows since in that scenario, and no slowdowns. So at this point, I'm like, okay, all I had to do was get Skype off my main machine and 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 everything was okay. Because Skype is like, you know, it's just bringing in all the NDIs, distributing them all around. I don't know what else it's doing. And instead, I did, and I both computers connected the same Ethernet through an Ethernet cable. Um, and I've got a KVM switch on my, on my desk. The only downside to the KVM switch is I'm sharing a mouse and a keyboard. And when I hit the button, you can hear this, I think. You hear the USB sound effects as it switches to the second computer. 
and then my main monitor is now showing that. And then I hit it again. So if I ever have to switch over during a live show, yeah, thanks, Frank. If I ever have to switch over during a live show, those those USB sound effects are playing during that, and I'm not happy about that. I've figured out a great solution there. Uh, report volume, theme music volume is, boom, like this. And then we can say, let's change this up a bit. Volume. for player cross for player is, and let's put in here, let's change, um, let's change this to this. And we, where are we calling this from? We're calling it from there. Okay, we're gonna change this to a, an instance, like that. And then we're gonna pass in what the, the main folder name is right here. So that might be the word music. So it'll say volume for music players. It might be weather, volume for the weather player is, that sort of thing, okay? All right. Um, by the way, uh, RetroCR2, you can also fly the main code rush uh, uh, guy by typing in line like that and then typing in the full words like right and then maybe like four for four seconds get that thing once that thing's flying around you can type in seed bang seed like that and then it'll uh, plant some flowers right there kind of thing you can also type in drop it'll drop a meteor if it's above you guys you'll catch it and drop there you go and then um like that now frank you can toss that by typing in the a t command followed by the coordinates like a three comma three something like that T33, and basically those are your X and Y meters per second. And so that's where it'll go. And uh, by the way, if you drop one of those on the music player, which is right behind Fred, let me hide Fred for a second so you can see him. You can see the music player. If you land one of those on the music player, then it'll advance the song. Hold on a second. All right, Let's see if that dog comes out of here, He's let out of this room. Um, anyway, that's kind of it. Let's bring Fred back. Cool, that worked. All right, so volume for the main folder player is. Okay, so the main folder we need to set. So we're kind of doing it here in this initialization right here. So I want to take all of this out and I want to create uh, a new function called uh, initialize theme music player. Maybe let's change this to all crossfade players. I like it, I'm liking this better now. <laughs> Equals new Array, is that what it is? <laughs> Something like that, I think it's the syntax. And so now we can come down here and we can say this dot push. Uh, sorry, I wanna pass in this. And we wanna come in and declare this up here. So we'll do a let that there. Is that gonna work? Get rid of all those, cool. So initialize theme music player is now gonna be called from here. And now my startup call, instead of saying simple player dot initialize, it's gonna do that instead. Let me put this up at the end here. So if I uncomment that, we'll get that line of code back. Um, cool, got Mars right over here. 
Martian gravity. Um, what's my problem here? It looks like I need a semicolon there. That's what I need. And this needs to semicolon there. Okay. Okay, it's looking better. Looking like where there's a shot, this is gonna work. Um, so now the whole idea behind this is so now I can send a command to one of these and then and pass in what the folder is going to be. In fact, uh, Rory was actually selecting, a, su suggesting a mechanic like this when we first started. And I was like, let's get this working first and then we'll go to the mechanic. And so that's kind of where we, where we went with that. As usual, Rory was right. I feel like I need a t-shirt that says that. Rory was right. Okay, set volume two. So we're not actually using volume up or down yet. I don't know if it's really useful to have these here. Not sure. All right, change theme. all those static references, converting them to instance references. And there's my change theme. Okay. <laughs> Stop music. What's going on with stop music? Why is that empty? That doesn't make sense to me. Um, I've been thinking with the word stop in it. What's going on with stopping? Where's that set? Stop theme music is what I've got. Okay. And we're in crossfade player. Okay, excellent. So we can kind of go back to uh, stop. Is it stop music? We're going to get rid of that. Nobody's calling it, right? Okay. Now let's do a search for static. Anything in static in here yet remaining? okay and then we're out we're all the way out into the next piece there so that's good let's see what uh, underlines we've got okay we got one there got some issues here Call an update. Okay. Um, where's my suppressing volume? Where is that declared? Yeah, that's outside of us. So let's do this. Let's pass these in as parameters. So we're going to start with uh, suppressing volume and update. Let's type in DB right here, suppressing the volume, we'll do that. Now let's go out to the calls and pass in uh, crossfade player, dot suppressing volume, All right? Is that it here or no? Who's suppressing volume? Oh, it's just an instance on it is what I think it is. Like that. Is that gonna work? There we go. All right. 
That was fine. The other update. There it is right there. Is there another one? Okay, good. So we've added that parameter. Means we can come in here and get this. And then we're going to do uh, suppressing volume ends. Type in VN to get a parameter, parameter of type uh, number. Let's go out to update here. There's one, two, <coughs> right there. And that's it, okay, cool. So now there's our update. I love it. Restore volume. Who's calling this? Okay, slight problem here. We had a logic plot problem here. Hold on a second. Restore player volume. Okay. This logic needs to be outside of update. Did we just pass these in. Uh, we don't need these in here anymore. Sorry, kids. So we're going to do this. I'm going to cut this to the clipboard. Go back out to the outside. Clean that. I think this goes uh, up here. That's where I think it goes. All right, so let's go back. Let's tap to reference to the updates. Okay. All right, turns out we didn't need that. Restore volume and restore player volume. Both of these need to move down. There. Wait, so how do you actually play the music? That's coming from, yeah, isn't it so funny?
that by chance. Check, 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 check. Let's listen to the sound now. Not good. Check, check. check, check. No, that's not fixed it yet either. Okay, there we go. We covered. So, how does it sound now? There we go.
check. Yeah, waiting for the check out to come out. Check. Yeah, it sounds underwater. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try just some crazy stuff here. I'm going to unplug my uh, sound cards. I'm going to plug them both in and see what happens. That's both of those selected there. And I guess one last check. I did not come to myself. I did. It doesn't look like that fix it. 